some simple, fun, easy maintenance here on old Big Bob. 65 Dodge D500, badass truck. Got a 318 Poly here under the hood. It's all original. I forget exactly what's on the tack, but there's really not a lot of miles on this truck. It spent most of its life in Washington State serving as a apple tree puller and hauler, and then it did similar stuff over in Ohio before I bought it. So that's my knowledge. I'm the third owner of it. And uh, you know, this old fuel line, old fuel filter, get rid of that. You can see I already changed the oil, got a new filter down there. Someone's got this electrical, I guess, pump to assist with the coolant. I don't know, it's, it's not had a coolant problem since I've driven it, so I'm just gonna bypass this by connecting this line right here to the other side, but just to get rid of this big, you know, crap underneath here. Connect that, new fuel filter, and then we're gonna see if we can replace the uh, exhaust manifold gasket on the passenger side because when it's running it's, it's leaking pretty bad and you can hear it like ticking away and it sounds like crap. All right. Well the beauty of this big old truck is that it's kind of like a big chair. Plenty of room to sit here and work too. It'll open up a near full 90. I mean that's pretty awesome for maintenance purposes to be able to get under here and not smash your head off, give us a little more access. This is a oil bath air filter, which was something new to me when I first bought it. I'd never actually seen one before. So it's just got some oil sitting in there and that helps kind of catch particles and absorb crap flowing into it. But when I first saw it, I was like, oh crap, this thing blowing you know, oil up through the carburetor, is there's something wrong with this engine? But you no, know, this is just the way they designed it back then. It's pretty freaking cool. There we go. Put this over here. Out the way. So you can see it's a pretty clean old engine. A air compressor here that feeds the power to the air over hydraulic brakes, which if you've seen my earlier videos from last summer when I bought this thing, this line I had to refabricate as well as this one because they were made out of copper like this here. And as I drove down the road, this line here just was vibrating back and forth and the actual copper sheared in half and I lost all power to my brakes and that was scary so new lines it works great now there's the fuel filter oh. I'm not sure what this fuel filter is going to look like. This truck's actually got the fuel tank in the cab right behind the, the bench seat. Not sure exactly how clean or dirty the fuel is, or has been. Put this here, like that. Cool. Pop this lower line here and see what happens. There we go, movement. All right, cool. That's off. This new one on here, ASAP. Get this guy tightened up. We're gonna leave this off right now because we're gonna work on getting rid of this and bypassing it. And actually no, we'll leave that connected this is what we're going to run right to here. I'm going to make a mess. Let's get some paper towels. I knew this was going to be a messy job. Connect the fuel line here. All right, cut this. Okay. Cleared. I just got this. It's doing nothing. Get this out of the way. Get this mopped up here. Or 
got pretty much everything dried up. Looks so much neater already underneath here. That's kind of what, half the reason why I wanted to do it. Just, I like a nice, neat looking engine bay. I don't know about you. Simple, more organized, and now this is also clean, new. Can actually see what the fuel looks like coming through here. And uh, don't have to worry about the old line dry rotting and busting. And now we got a little more space here to try and pop off these exhaust manifold bolts and see if we can get that, that gasket off. So we got everything put back nice and neat, looking good, new fuel line, everything's organized, just feel much better. Unfortunately, I tried, to, I tried to take off the exhaust manifold bolts here. They actually came off surprisingly very easily, but the one on the bottom, the stud actually came out with the top of the nut instead of leaving the stud in there. And once that came out, sort of losing uh, antifreeze and I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. Here I was cutting open the fuel filter, all this black crap that came out of it. But even better, yeah, that's pretty nasty. It's been in there for too long, that's for sure. So I'm glad we switched this out. And now we'll take our first spin. Beautiful. 